Continuing our coverage now on the Great Lake Fire burning in the Croatan National Forest. Just moments ago, officials tell us it's now 90% contained. Just last week, it was at 70% containment. Since the fire started 24 days ago, it's burned some 32,000 acres. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. North Carolina's Forest Services says they've been spread thin battling that wildfire, most notably the wildfire recently in Terrell County and of course the Great Lake wildfire in Craven County. They say they've also been battling some staffing issues at the same time. Now your side's Abigail Velez joins us in the studio after speaking with the department about the strain they're currently under. What do you have for us Abigail? Well, Ken, the Forest Services tell me that their mission is to not only serve and protect the people of the state, but of course also the land. And when personnel is low, it's just difficult for them to do their job. Statistics from the department show staffing issues, and right now there are a lot of vacancies and a high turnover rate. We have several employees that uh, are not compensated fully for what this job requires. With vacant jobs and a workforce of only 80%, the department says this poses many problems for them. It becomes an issue with us with our ability to respond for natural disasters, emergency response for wildland fires. For example, uh, we have some employees that uh, you know could be working upwards of 40, 45 straight days without any time off. The department says they have accumulated 13,000 hours of overtime just on the two recent wildfires in the east. You spend days and weeks on end at, at these wildfires and working overtime and working weekends. Um, it's not reflected in the paycheck. It's not, you know, other jobs you get overtime, so you get a bonus really, and that doesn't really happen here. Overtime hours result in additional days off, but sports and Jackson say they can't really use that time because they're always on call and required to respond. They say if they filled vacant jobs, overtime wouldn't be such an issue, but that's not happening. Our new hires of what we're able to uh, bring on board simply aren't matching our turnover rate that we're presently experiencing. The department says it takes about 130 days to train a new hire, and it's also a very expensive process, but only one third of the new hires make it out of training. I hate to put in all the work to train people and then them leave. Like you're happy to train them, but when they leave, it's, it's a lot of work that goes into it that's wasted. They can take that training and they can uh, move on elsewhere where they can make more money. Now, the department is calling on legislation to allocate more funds to make sure these workers get compensated accordingly. In studio, Abigail Velez, 9 on your side. Abigail, thank you.